So, just to explain, give some of you context on the situation in terms of Tommy Sotomayor. Um, last year, you know, I've been a dark skin activist since 1998. I let everybody, I want everybody to understand that and understand me clearly on that. This is nothing new. Before the internet, before Facebook, before YouTube, I've been a dark skin activist speaking out boldly in regards to dark skin women and girls and how they're discriminated against. So on, it was, it's nothing for me to put something on my Facebook in regards to dark skin. So I believe the post that got one of these stalker hater motherfuckers attention to send to Tommy Sotomayor was something that I said in regards to make sure you tell a dark skin woman in a respectful manner that she's beautiful today. So Tommy Sotomayor, um, he sends me a, a message acting all nice and I wish I would have kept the screen which is, it, it's probably still there if I just go check my Facebook but he sends me this nice message you know like a snake because that's what he is he ain't nothing but a snake okay he sends me a message um, asking me t about my views and saying oh I would love to have you on my show and blah 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 so I'm like okay you know I don't really know who he is because to be honest I was not he wasn't on my radar okay my mission has always been to equalize the beauty of dark skinned women and girls and people like him it just was not on my radar so anyway I agree to go on his show I get on his show and towards I believe around towards like 30 40 minutes into the show he starts to denigrate me and belittle me and you know be rude and nasty to me because he didn't agree with my views in regards to the Kanye West Kim Kardashian situation and how I felt about that situation so make a long story short, this nasty, no good, dark skin hating, I mean, there's not even enough words that I have to say about him, you know, he hangs up the phone on me and goes on to belittle me and it's just very nasty, okay? People have asked me to make videos about this fool since that time and they were asking me how I felt, but I didn't even want to give him any of my time and energy, so I ignored him. This is the first video, the one that you guys watched before this that I just made a few moments ago. These are the first videos that I ever made addressing this idiot. Because like I said, Tommy Sotomayor, listen to me carefully, sweetheart. Yo self-hating dark-skinned ass, you can kiss my black ass. You can go straight to hell. I don't give a fuck about you. Fuck you. You was never a factor to me at all. So, fast forward a year later, he sees all, like I said, he sees this controversy. And he's an opportunist. You're clearly an opportunist, okay? I, I, I know what's going on here. And your ass will not get the chance to take advantage of me. So, you know, when you couldn't, I don't know if you don't have the funds. I don't know if you don't want to pay the funds. I can only speculate on that part. But he didn't want to pay me the money. So he went and he made a video about me. And it's trying to pretend like I'm not important. Bitch, I'm important because you're making videos about me. You're talking about me. You're talking about my thought process. I'm on your mind. You upset. I made you mad. You know what I'm saying? Because I struck a chord in your self-hating piece of shit ass. Because that's what you are. You ain't nothing but a piece of shit. You wanted me to give it to your ugly ass? Well, I'm giving it to you. You wanted me to talk about your ugly ass? Well, I'm talking about you. You wanted me to pay you some attention? I'm paying you some attention. You're shit to me. You're like the shit on the bottom of my shoe. And that's why I wouldn't give you the time of day. I wouldn't give you the energy unless you pay me for my time. And that's why he mad. Because, you know, he knew that I was not about to come back on his show and allow him to denigrate this dark-skinned woman. And, you know, if he would have paid me the $25,000, of course, those funds will go towards the promotion of the Dark Skin is Beautiful campaign and towards all around the world to promote the equalization of dark skinned women and girls and this has never been done before. It's revolutionary. I know it is. And the haters don't want to see it happen. They don't want to see this discussion happen because they know at the end of the day they know that their privilege is under attack. They know that they will no longer allow to be allowed to attack dark skinned women without dark skinned women addressing the situation head on. They know that there's Rashida Strober, the dark skinned activist, who's out here boldly speaking and letting these haters know that it's not going down like that no more. They know that you can call us all kinds of names. You can call me a black bitch. You can call me manly. You can call me ugly. You can call what else I've what else I've been called. You can call me burnt. You can call me monkey. You can call me a whore. You can call me whatever the fuck you want to call me, bitch. You won't stop me. It's not gonna stop. The dark skinned female beauty revolution is here. 
with the dark skinned activist Rashida Strober. And so, guys, that's the situation around me charging this coon, because that's what he is, the $25,000 speaking fee. And if the motherfucker ever contact me again, bitch is going up. It's going from $25,000. When you contact me, how about this? I'll let you know the amount. And then I'll make a video and disclose that information to the public. Okay? And another thing that I, you know, I, I kind of addressed in the other video is these haters, the, the, the very fact that people have something to say about me and a GoFundMe shows me that you motherfuckers don't want to see dark-skinned women economically progress because you don't know what type of plan I have for this campaign. You have no idea. All you got to do is go read the page. And when you go read the page or if you want to talk to me directly, you'll find out. And you know it's valid. You know it's needed. But the problem is you don't want to see this dark-skinned woman advance this agenda because it's a product of the fact that you hate dark-skinned women. So dark-skinned women are not supposed to speak. We're not supposed to economically advance. We're not supposed to have a good man. We're not supposed to have anything. We're supposed to just be broke, poor, ignorant, living in the ghetto, you know, living on welfare. That's what you want, motherfuckers. But if I got something to do with it, it's not going to happen. Because I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to stop. And I know that God is going to send the right people along to help me to advance this campaign and this movement. I'm not going to stop. So again, supporters, what I would like for you to do, I would like for you to go to the Dark Skin is Beautiful campaign page and consider donating, like I said, any amount. Whatever you can afford will go towards the equalization of the beauty of dark skin, women and girls, and taking this message worldwide because we all know that it is needed. If you are interested in me coming to your event to speak, know that there will be a speaking fee. And again, all the uh, funds will go to the Dark Skin is Beautiful campaign and the promotion of this campaign worldwide. You can reach me at Dark Skin is Beautiful campaign at gmail.com. Um, you can also, you know, Facebook is, a, I'm not even getting ready to promote Facebook. If you want to friend me on Facebook, that's good and fine. But reach me directly at Dark Skin is Beautiful campaign at gmail.com. Also look out for the upcoming ebook, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, as well as How to Be the Hottest Dark Skin Chick on the Planet, which is a book that I wrote based off of my experience growing up a poor dark skinned girl and all the pointers and advice that I have for dark skinned girls trying to navigate and live in this world being dark skinned. Thank you guys for watching this video. Share this video. Rate, comment, subscribe because I need you. I need the people to help me to take this movement worldwide because we all know. We all know. I don't care what color you are. You can do the research if you're white and find out what this colorism thing is all about. You know, black people, we already know what time it is. We already know that there's, a, there's discrimination against dark-skinned women and girls. This is the dark-skinned activist Rashida Strober. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys again. And remember to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Show some love. Dark-skinned beauty power worldwide.